Hi guys, it's Anna. Today I'm doing a tutorial for this really pretty flower crochet halter top. I made a little crochet with me video a couple weeks ago where I made a top like this and a lot of you guys liked it and wanted a tutorial. So here we are. This is a really beginner friendly project. Um, I would say if you don't know how to crochet at all, you've never crocheted, definitely go watch some like beginner crochet tutorials on YouTube. Just like beginner stitches, like how to crochet the very basics because I'm not going to show you like how to do a single crochet, how to do a double crochet. Like you kind of have to know those things to do this. But if you're like a beginner crochet and you know how to make the stitches and stuff, then this should be totally a breeze for you. And as always, like feel free to ask any questions that you have or if you have any problems, comment them and I'll help you out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already because it's a free way that you can help support me and my channel. And you'll get to see whenever I post a new video. So it's like a win-win. But I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just get into it. So the first thing you'll need is a DK weight yarn. This is the cream cotton yarn by Loops and Threads in the color pastel pink. And on the label, if you can see that, it does say that it's a weight four yarn, but I just don't agree. Like, I feel like that's, that's just not a weight four yarn to me. That feels like a DK weight yarn. So I'm recommending a DK weight yarn for this project and I'll put some other DK weight yarns in the description as well. You could use a true weight for worsted yarn if you wanted but you'll have to play around with your hook size to get the right tension so you might have to go a little bit up in hook size to get the right look so you'll just have to play around with that a little. Next you'll need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is much smaller than you would normally use for a yarn like this but I want it to be super tight and close close crochet so that you can't see through especially for like the cup areas you don't want to be able to see through the holes in that so i like crocheting it really tightly so a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook you also need some scissors and a darning needle all right first we're going to be making the cups for the top so to start you're going to make a slip knot so just make a little loop like that and then go through the loop and pick up this piece of yarn. Just pull that and then insert your hook and tighten down. And for this part, this is gonna depend on your cup size. So if you have an A cup, you're gonna chain 10 here. If you have a B cup, you're gonna chain 12, C cup 14, D cup 16, and then for every cup size after that, you just add two just in that same pattern. I'm gonna be making a C cup, so I'm gonna chain 14. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14. So there's my 14 chains. And in that third chain from your hook right there, you're gonna be making a half double crochet. So wrap your yarn around the hook like that. And that's the first chain from the hook, second, and then third. And that third one, you're gonna insert your hook, get both loops of that chain on your hook, pull through, so you should have three loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops to make a half double crochet. And then we're gonna do the same thing in every other remaining stitch. So wrap your yarn around the hook and go into this next chain right next to it. Make sure you're getting both loops of the chain on your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and just do this all the way down. There are my half double crochets and the total number of half double crochets here should be the same number as what you chained minus two. So I chained 14, so I have 12 half double crochets all the way to that one right there. And now you're gonna chain one and then turn your work. So now we're working in this direction. And then you're gonna make a half double crochet into that very first half double crochet right there. So wrap your yarn, go into that half double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, and then you're gonna go all the way down. So I should be making 12 again. So that number should not change yet. I've done 11, so I have that last one right there. Just go into that last stitch, make our final half double crochet. 
Now we are gonna be making an increase and we're always gonna be making an increase on this side so we can have that kind of triangle shape. So for our increase, we're gonna be going into this section right there. That's that little space created by the chain two we made at the very end of our chain. So right there, there's a little gap and we're gonna be going into there. And we're gonna be going in with three half double crochets to make our increase. So wrap your yarn around the hook and then go into that gap right there that we made from making that chain two. And you're gonna work three half double crochets. So there's one going back in that same gap. That's two and then that's three all in one space there and now we are going to be working into these chains this is like the other side of the chain we already worked on this side of the chain now we're on the other side so we're going to be working into these loops and this is going to be the first one right there we're going to make a half double crochet and there should only be one loop on your hook because we've already worked into the other side of the chain and that's when we were doing both loops so now there should just be one loop so there's my first one go into that next loop for the second one and you're just gonna keep going all the way down and you should have I'm gonna have 12 so it's the same number of half double crochets we made on that first row I've done 11 so I have one more at the very end there so just make that final half double crochet and there we go and so now remember we're only increasing on this side so we can have that triangle because we don't want it to be we want it to be flat on this side and increasing and kind of curved on this side. So we're not increasing here. We're just gonna chain one and turn. And then just like we did earlier, you're gonna make a half double crochet into that very first half double crochet right there. And then just one all the way down the row. So I made 12 half double crochets total, and then I'm gonna do another one into this one right here, just one half double crochet in that next stitch. So now I have 13, and now that I've done one extra, it's going to, the next stitch, I'm gonna make another increase. And so if you look, that next stitch is the middle stitch of the previous increase. So those, if you can see that, are the three stitches that we put into one stitch and that is the center stitch and that's where we're going to be making our second increase so again we are going to put three half double crochets into that one stitch so there's one two and three and then we're just going to go into the next stitch here just one half double crochet and then all the way down this other side and you should again out this will be 13 again because it's adding one each time so we're gonna have 13 half double crochets all the way down so I've done 12 I have one more at the very end it's really helpful to count all of your stitches to make sure you're not skipping one or doing too many or anything so count your stitches and there's my last one then remember this is the flat side, so we're just gonna chain one. We're not making any increases. Then turn, and now make a half double crochet in that first stitch, and then all the way down. And this time, you can kind of see the pattern. Last time we did 13, now we're gonna be doing 14, or whatever that number is for you, but it's two more than that original chain number because we've now increased twice. So I'm gonna be doing 14 stitches so i've done 14 now and that takes us to that very topmost middlemost stitch of the last increase that we did and you really want to double check and make sure you're going and increasing in the correct stitch because if you don't then it won't have like a straight increase it'll kind of curve to the side and it won't look right so make sure you're going into that very middle stitch of the increase from the previous row and also count your stitches that helps a lot so now I'm gonna be making another increase so just three half double crochets into that one stitch there that middle stitch of the other increase that we made and then you're just gonna do one half double crochet in every remaining stitch all the way until the end 
Go into that last one with my final half double crochet. Now chain one, because this is our flat side, turn, and then we're gonna be working into this very next half double crochet right there. So just go into there with a half double crochet and then all the way up until we're where we're gonna make our increase for this row. I'm in the stitch right before that middle most stitch from the previous increase. So now the next one is going to be our increase. So make three half double crochets into that one stitch and then just one in all of the remaining stitches. So my next step is gonna be chaining one here and then going over here and then making an increase, going all the way down there and chaining one. And you're just gonna keep working back and forth in the same pattern that I've shown you a few times now until this cup size is a good fit for you. My recommendations for your cup size will be that for an A cup, you'll do seven rows total. For a B cup, you'll do nine, C cup, 11, D cup, 13, and then just so on adding two for each additional cup size. So I'm gonna be doing 11 rows, and if you wanna count your rows, start at this tail, and this one right on top of the tail is gonna be our first row, then two, three, four, five. So I've done five rows total, and I'm, again, gonna do 11. But just keep trying it on as you go, hold it up to you, and see if it's enough coverage for you, if you wanna make it larger, and just keep adding rows until you have a size that works for you. And so I'm just gonna do that and then I will get back to you. Okay, so I've done the cup to the row number that I'm gonna do. As you can see, it kind of has that like cup shape there, which is nice. So I just wanted to show you again how the counting, the row counting should work. So if you look, um, this is the tail here. This is the first row going that direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. But on this side, we have 11. So one side will have more than the other. So if you look here, this is the first row going that direction. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 going that way. So just count and you'll go based on the side that has like more, one more. So again, I'm making 11 rows total. But again, just try it on, put it up to you, see if that's enough coverage or if you want more, just keep going until you have a size that's good for you. And now at the end here, I just made my last half double crochet. So I'm just gonna chain one and then cut the yarn and then just pull it through and tighten that down. And the next step is gonna be to make the exact same thing. So we're gonna make another cup exactly the same, make it the same you know, width and row numbers and all that exactly the same and yeah, just make a replica of this. All right, so I did my second cup. And by the way, if yours are too like that, like they're warping too much that way, then you can just give it a quick little light ironing, like on a really low heat so you don't melt anything or mess with the fiber. But yeah, I just ironed mine really lightly because they were curling up a little bit too much on the sides. And so now they'll just be a little easier to work with. And so I just chained one at the very end of this row. And now I'm just gonna cut my yarn and pull that through. And we're just gonna put these to the side now and start working on the bottom part of the top. For the bottom section of the top that has the flower pattern, we are gonna be making foundation double crochets. So to do that, you're gonna make a slip knot and then insert your hook. Then you're gonna chain two, so like that. And then wrap your yarn once around the hook and insert into that first chain there. Like that. And then pull up a loop. So you should now have three loops on your hook and you wanna kind of wiggle this out a little bit so that this bottom loop is a little bit loose because if you make it too tight, then your work will kind of curve because this first loop is gonna be like our chain as if we chained a bunch and then double crocheted into it. Instead, we're just doing it all in one go. So that's gonna be our chain. So you want that to be loose and then yarn over and just pull through that first loop like that. So you should have three loops on your hook again. And then you're gonna yarn over 
and we're gonna make a double crochet. So just pull through two loops like that and then yarn over it one more time and pull through those last two loops. That's gonna count as our first double crochet. So we have one double crochet there and then to continue on with the foundation double crochets, you're gonna wrap the yarn around the hook again. So you see this loop right here. You're gonna pick that loop up with your hook, but then you're also, you need to pick up the back of that stitch. So this loop back there as well. And I'll show you this a couple more times, but then you're gonna pull up a loop. And we're gonna do the same thing that we just did. So loosen that first one a little bit, yarn over, pull through that one loop in the front then yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through two loops to make our second foundation double crochet. Then yarn over again, and we're gonna be going into the base of this previous double crochet. So it's gonna be that loop right there that we're going into. So go into there, and you also need to get that back loop as well. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one to make the chain, then yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two again. Wrap your yarn around the hook. We're going into that loop and then the one on the back side as well, like that. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, and then pull through two, pull through two. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I have a length that A, wraps around your back to whatever amount you want it to. So if you like hold it up to your back, like right under your bust, then you wanna just make it wrap around to as far back as you want it to go. For example, I made this other top here and um, this is how wide I made mine. So this is my this is my initial chain and that's how long I made mine. And this basically just covers like the front of my body, it doesn't really cover much of the back at all, it's backless. So yeah, you can make it go around as much as you want. I'm gonna make mine go more around my back. And then B, you need the total number of double crochets that you make. It has to be a multiple of 24 because each flower here, if you can see that, is 24 stitches. So you're gonna have to make a multiple of 24. So I did 24 times three, and I'll put the multiples of 24 on the screen in case, um, you don't wanna do the math, so you can just look at that and figure out how many you wanna do. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a wider back than I did in that other top. Really quickly, I just wanted to add that for this top, I ended up doing a width of four flowers, so 24 times four, and there's still like a gap in the back of my top. So as you can see in the picture, when I tie it with that one strap that ties in the back, it kind of stretches the top so it meets there. So if you are a similar size to me and you wanted yours to go all the way in the back, then you might want to do maybe one more flower or maybe you could just keep it like this way, but you would probably have to do your tie a little bit differently. So instead of just at the end when I show you how to do this one like strap tie that I have at the top of the flower section, you will probably wanna do some sort of a lace up back where you lace up all the way down the flower section and then at the very bottom of the flower section, you tie those laces together. So that would actually close up the back if you wanted it fully closed up. But yeah, you won't be able to get that fully closed up back with just using one tie at the top because then there's nothing tying the bottom together, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to let you know how to do that if you did want the flower section to completely wrap around your back. So I ended up just doing 96 chains, which is four flowers wide. So it's just one more than that gray top I showed you earlier. But now we are gonna chain two at the end once you have that multiple of 24 and count and make sure you have the right number there because if you have the wrong number, it's not gonna work. The pattern's not gonna work. And so for this second row, this is gonna be what we're counting as row two, um, you are gonna make 10 double crochets in a row but this chain two that we did at the beginning is gonna count as a double crochet. So our next one is gonna be in this stitch right there, next the next double crochet stitch. And we're gonna do nine more because again, it's counting, let me try that again. Nine more because this first chain is counting as a double crochet. So we're going for 10 total. So I've got three, four, 
Now I have 10 double crochets total, including that chain. And you're gonna chain two, and this is gonna be our first hole. So chain two, and then we're gonna skip the next two stitches there and go into the third from the hook with a double crochet. And then we're gonna do three more double crochets. So we have a little cluster of four double crochets. And now you're gonna chain two again, and then skip two stitches again and go into the third with another double crochet to make another hole. And now we're gonna do 15 additional double crochets for a total of 16 in this section, because we already have one there. So I've got one, and then in the next stitch, make my second and my third and so on until I have 16 total. And once you have your 16 there, make sure you count it and actually have 16 and make sure everything, you're just going back and counting to make sure you have the right number of stitches because this is gonna be like the basis of every other row. So it is really important that you have your stitch numbers correct. But I have my 16 and I'm gonna chain two and make another hole. And at this point, you know, skip two stitches, go into the third. We are just gonna follow this pattern like from here. So I'm gonna make, I just made that hole, now I'm gonna make four double crochets, then make another hole, then do 16, then make a hole, four, hole, 16, and so on until you get to the end. So now I'm just gonna keep doing that pattern. So I'm here at the end, and the end's gonna be a little bit different because there's not enough room to like start my 16. Like as you can see, I did my 16, hole, four, and then I'm supposed to start my 16 again but um, I can't do that. There aren't enough stitches left. So if you did everything correctly, then at the very end, you should have room for six of your 16. So I have one, two, three, and then six is gonna be that last foundation double crochet, or I guess it's the first one that we made because those are those chains in the tail right there. But yeah, that first, slash last um, double crochet. And now we're gonna start the next row. So chain two and turn. So to start off this next row, we're gonna do a total of three double crochets, including our chain. We're always including our chain. So if I say we start with three double crochets, count that chain as part of it. So for a second, we're going to this next space. We have two double crochets and then three like that. And then chain two and we're gonna make a hole. Anytime we chain two, that usually means we're making a hole. So skip two, go into that third. And if you're all correct, then that stitch that we just went into is gonna be right before this previous row's hole. And then into that hole right there, you're gonna make two double crochets. Like that. And then right after the hole, make a double crochet as well. So we have three, a hole, four, and then chain two to make another hole. Skip two stitches, go into the third, which is gonna be right before the previous row's hole again. Put two into that opening, just like we just did. One, two, and then one right after, like that, and then chain two skip two stitches, go into the third, and now we are gonna be making 10 total, including this one we just did. So 10 double crochets. So I just made my 10, and we're gonna make a hole. So chain two, skip two stitches, go into the third, which is gonna be, again, right before the previous row's hole. Put two in the center of that opening, and then one right after, and then we're making another hole. Skip two, go into the third, which is right before the hole, put two in the hole, and then one right after the hole. And then chain two to make another hole, skip two and go into the third. So I'm just gonna show you like what that was that we just did. So we're just following the same 
pattern minus that three, those first couple and last couple stitches you do are gonna be a little bit different than the rest of the pattern, but everything else is gonna be exactly the same. I'm at the end now and I'm about to do like my 10, but again, we don't have room for that. But if you counted everything correctly, you should have room for seven stitches. So I've got one already, two, three, four, five, six, and then our seventh is gonna be the top of that chain two, because remember, that chain two is always counting as a stitch, so you can't skip that one. Make sure you go into that very last one as well. And so, yeah, you should have seven there. Now, chain two, turn. Now, we are gonna do four double crochets, so three more, two, three, and four, and then we're gonna make a hole so skip two, go into the third, and then put two into this hole, and then one right after. So we did four, made a hole, and then four again, and now we're gonna chain four, like that, and then we're gonna be making a treble crochet, not a double crochet. So wrap the yarn twice around the hook, and go into this gap here, pull up a loop, and you're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now chain four again, and you want these chains to be nice and loose so it doesn't pull your work in at the chains. And then we're gonna be making a double crochet into this stitch right here at the end of that cluster of four from the previous row right there, right before the next hole. And then do two double crochets into the hole. And then one right after, like that. And now make a hole, so chain two, skip two, go into the third. And then make three more to have another cluster of four double crochets. And now we're gonna chain two again, skip two, go into this one, which is gonna be right before that next hole. Put two in the hole. And then one right after for another cluster of four. So at this point, we're gonna start here. So we're gonna chain four Make a treble crochet into that middle hole there. And then chain four again. And then make a double crochet into this stitch right before the next hole. And I'm just gonna follow this pattern all the way down. I'm here at the end and I just made my last cluster of four. And this end is gonna be a little bit different. So normally we make a hole by skipping two stitches. Now we are just gonna chain two, like we would make a hole, but we only have two stitches remaining. So we're just gonna make a um, double crochet. We're only gonna skip one stitch. And so we're gonna make a double crochet into that second stitch from the hook, which is gonna be that top chain of the chain two just like that, and then chain two and turn. And now we're gonna start off with a cluster of four. So we have that one first chain and then we'll do two in here. So now you have three double crochets and then do one right after for a total of four. And now we are gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and we're going to make a single crochet into this big opening here, close to that treble crochet, like kind of towards the center if you can. And then we're gonna make a single crochet into that treble crochet, and then we're gonna make one right after in this space right after. So three total single crochets right there, and then you're gonna chain five again. One, two, three, four, four, five, and then you're gonna make a double crochet 
into this stitch right there. So that is what it should look like for you. And then you're gonna put two double crochets into this hole right there. And then one right after. And then chain two, skip two stitches, go into the third with a double crochet, and then put two into this opening. And then one right after just like normal. And now we're gonna do that five, that chain five again, what we just did over here. So we're already starting that pattern repeat. So one, two, three, four, five. Make a single crochet into this opening right before the treble crochet. Make a single crochet into the treble crochet and then make a single crochet right after the treble crochet. Then chain five and then make a double crochet into this stitch right before the next hole. And then we are just doing the same pattern. So I just did my last cluster of four after doing like this um, three single crochets, chain five thing. Um, and so I'm at the end, I have three stitches remaining and we're gonna chain two and make a hole. So skip two stitches, go into the third, just like we normally do and then just make one double crochet in that last stitch, then chain two and turn. For this row, we are gonna start with a cluster of four. So we're, we have that one in front of the hole. We're gonna do two double crochets into the hole. And then one right after for a group of four double crochets. And then we are gonna chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we are gonna make a single crochet into this hole right here, a single crochet into each of the previous row single crochets, so three there, and then one um, in this hole right after for a total, total of five single crochets. So go one into this opening, and then do one into this single crochet that we made last row, and then the next one that we also made last row, and then that third one. And then lastly, go into that opening after. So I have five single crochets there that I just made. And now to make it symmetrical, we're going to chain six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we are gonna go into this stitch right before the next hole with a double crochet and then you know the drill by now, put two stitches into the hole. We're making a cluster of four and then put one stitch into the stitch right after the hole. And now we're back here to like this flower part. So we're gonna chain six again and we're just doing our repeat now. So I just did my last single crochet of the five single crochets that you do for each flower. And we're gonna chain six, just like normal. So there's my chain six. And then we are gonna make one double crochet into that very last stitch. So that top chain of the chain two. Like that. And then chain two and turn. And to start off this row, we are gonna put three additional double crochets into this little loop here. So I have one already and we're gonna put three more. There's one, two, three for a total of four double crochets right there at the beginning. And then we are gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna make single crochets into the center three single crochets. So we're not gonna do these ones on the edge, we're just gonna do these three center ones. So there, and then there, and then there. So just those center three, and then chain five. And now again, we're gonna make three double crochets into this loop, and then one right after just mirroring what we did at the beginning. So two 
and then three there, and then one right there at the end, or the stitch right after that loop. You can kind of move those over to be close to that one, so it should look something like that. Now, chain two, we're gonna make a hole, so skip two stitches, go into the third, and this gets us back to where we're gonna start repeating. So we're gonna do three double crochets into this opening for a total of four clustered together, because we had one right before. So there's three, and then that fourth. Then chain five, and make single crochets into the center three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three there. Then chain five, and make three double crochets into this loop. One, two, three, and then make that fourth one in the stitch right after that loop, like that. So I'm here at the end now, and I have three stitches remaining, so now we're gonna make a hole, just chain two, and then make one double crochet into that very last stitch there at the end, that top chain. And now chain two and turn. Now for this row, we are gonna start with a cluster of four there, so two in that space. And then one right after for a total of four there. And now chain two to make a hole. And then we are gonna be going into this stitch right here before that petal. So go into there. And then we're gonna do the same thing that we did last row where we put three double crochets into that petal for a total of four that are close together. There we go. And then you're gonna chain four. And now we are gonna be making a treble crochet. So wrap the yarn twice and go into that middle single crochet there from the previous row. So just go into there with a treble crochet. So chain four, and then do three double crochets into this petal. Two, three, and then one in the stitch right after. Now chain two to make a hole and go into this stitch right before the next hole with a double crochet, and then two into that hole. And then one right after. And now we're gonna make another hole, so chain two, skip two stitches, go into the third, which will be the stitch right before this next petal. Go into that stitch with a double crochet, and then we're gonna do three double crochets into this petal like that, and then chain four. And now we are just following that same pattern. I'm at the end here. I just did my treble crochet chain four. So now we're gonna do three double crochets into this next petal. So there's three and then one right after the petal. And then we are gonna make a hole. So chain two and then skip two stitches and your third should be that very last stitch there, that chain. Then make your final double crochet and then chain two and turn. Now we're gonna start with a cluster of four. So make two in the middle there and then one right after that hole. Like that. Then chain two to make a hole. Skip two stitches, go into the third, which will be right before that next petal. Then put three in the petal, just like we've been doing for the past couple rows, like that. And now chain two, and then go into the next petal, and then put three in there. And once you have three in that petal, then we're doing our fourth 
in the stitch right after the petal. So as you can see, we're not gonna be doing any more with like the petals or anything. We are just trying to copy this row, essentially this third row. And so now chain two. So we're doing that like 10 clustered now. So skip two stitches, go into the third. With a double crochet and then two into this hole. And then one right after the hole. But remember, we're not doing a cluster of four here. This is gonna be a cluster of 10. So we've got four there, and now we're just gonna do six more. So my seventh there is gonna end us right before this hole. So we're gonna put two in there. So that's my eighth, my ninth, and then your 10th should be the stitch right after that hole. So now we have 10, you're gonna chain two to make a hole. Skip two stitches, go into the third, which should end us right before that next petal. Then put three in the petal to make that cluster of four, just like we've done. There we go, then chain two and go over that treble crochet into this next petal and do exactly what we just did. So three in the petal and then one right after. I did my 10 and then my cluster four, cluster four, so it's time to start the 10 again. And you should only have seven stitches remaining, so skip those two, go into the third, which should be right before this hole. There we go. And then put another one in the hole. And then one right after the hole. And then the next stitch and the next one and then that final chain stitch there that we're going into and then chain two and turn and now you might be able to guess that we are going to be doing this exact same second row so we're going to start with 10 we already have one so nine more two three our seventh should be right before that hole, and then put eight and nine in the hole, and then 10 right after the hole. So there's our 10, then we're gonna chain two to make a hole, just like we did on row two there. And now we're gonna be making a cluster four. So skip two, go into the third, make that little cluster of four stitches. There's three, and then that fourth goes into the stitch right after the hole, then chain two again, skip two stitches, go into the third, and now we are gonna start that cluster of 16, just like we did down here. So do 16 stitches in a row. I've got one, put two into this hole. So I just did my 15th, and then our 16th should be right after that hole right there. So I have 16 there. Now chain two, make a hole, skip two, go into the third. And then we're just following the same pattern. So we're making a cluster of four now. And then we will chain two, make a hole, and then do 16. And I did just wanna show you the end of this row because it is a little different than when we did it down here. So I did my cluster of four, and now it's time to start the cluster of 16, so skip two stitches, go into the third, and then put two into that hole. And we should only be doing six stitches here. So if you notice, you'll see that when you, we started that, we had seven, so we are not gonna go into that very last chain there. We're not gonna go in there or we'll end up with an extra stitch. So just for this row, that's the only time you're gonna do it. You're just gonna skip that last stitch. So just do six instead of seven. So I just have six there and now chain two. I didn't go into that last second chain of the chain two there. And at this point, you can kind of probably figure out what we're gonna do next, but 
by now I've shown you all of the rows that we're gonna be doing. You're just gonna be repeating them until you have the length that you want. So this row we just made was our 10th row of the whole thing, which was essentially copying row two. So now what we're gonna be doing is just repeating rows three through 10, just until you have the length that you want. I'm gonna be making mine like two flowers or two repetitions tall. So I'm just gonna do one more repetition of this. So again, we're just gonna start. Next row is gonna be doing row three and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And then you'll just keep doing that until the top is to the length that you want. I think two rows of this is a really good length and that's what I'm gonna be doing. But if you wanted yours to be even shorter, you could just stop here and then meet up when I show you what to do next. But yeah, your last row that you do should be this 10th row with the clusters of 16. And then I will show you what we're doing next. All right, once you have the length that you want, again, I did two repetitions and I just ended on this row with the 16 stitches in a row. And so once you have your final length that you're good with, we're gonna do one more row. So just chain two. And turn and this row is gonna be our first row so it's just plain double crochets so I'm gonna go in this next stitch right there and make a double crochet and we're just gonna be making double crochets all the way down no holes or anything and when you get to a hole just do like we've always done put one stitch before two stitches inside of the hole and then one stitch right after the opening so then you'll just do one double crochet in every stitch again do two double crochets in the middle of these holes all the way down and then I'll get back to you once I've done that I'm finishing this row up and I'm just gonna go into that very last stitch that chain there at the end and then I'm gonna chain one and cut my yarn and then just pull your yarn through. And now we can set this to the side for right now. And we're coming back to our cups. So just put them so that they're like facing the same way. So like the tails go on the same sides and stuff. And now we are gonna connect these together. So start here at the very end of this rightmost one and insert your hook like right there into that stitch on the very edge if you can see that it's not a real stitch since we're going like sideways but and grab your yarn make a slip knot put the slip knot on your hook and just tighten that down and then pull through and then chain one and we're gonna be working single crochets all along the bottom of here and then we're gonna chain some for this little gap there and then we're gonna do single crochets all the way along this side and since these are half double crochet stitches they are about one and a half stitches tall if that makes sense so that means that we can't just do one stitch per row or we can't do two stitches per row so we're gonna have to alternate hopefully that makes sense but I'll show you what I'm doing here. So for this very first stitch where we just attached our yarn, you're going to insert your hook back into that stitch to make a single crochet. So just pull up a loop, pull through both loops. And so that was, that took care of that row. And then this is the next row, like going that way. We're going to go into that row somewhere. Again, it doesn't really matter because these are not real stitches. So there's not one specific place you have to go into. Just make sure that it's in that row. But for this one, we're going to do two single crochets for that one row because we're going to be alternating one stitch per row and two stitches per row. So we just did two stitches per that row. And then in this next one, we're just going to do one like that. And then in this next row, we're going to do two. So there's one. And then the next one I'll do right next to it. And I'm also working over this tail there so we don't have to weave that in. Next one's right there. And we're just gonna do one single crochet. And then next row's here. Again, we're gonna do two for that row. Just find a spot that you can put your hook in and then make that. And then I'm gonna stop working over this piece because it's too short. Next row's that one. We're just doing one and so on. So I'm just gonna follow the same pattern all the way to the end 
of this cup over here. I got to the end here and this is gonna be my final stitch. So it's gonna be one single crochet for me for that row. And now what you're gonna do is chain two. And then we're gonna take our second cup and join here at the corner. Just insert your hook into that very first row somewhere and make a slip stitch. Now make one single crochet in that first row and then we're gonna do exactly what we just did. So I made one in that row and then this second row is gonna have two. So there's one for that row and then my second. And again, I'm working over this tail and I'll also work over this other tail. Next row gets one and yeah, we're just gonna do this exact same thing that we did on the other cup there. So I'm just doing my last stitch here, which is just gonna be one. So that's how it should be looking. Now just chain one and turn. And we're just gonna be working one single crochet into every single single crochet just to give it a little bit more structure. So I'm gonna go into that very first one with a single crochet and then all the way down. And then once we get to this bridge, we're just gonna work two single crochets there. I'm here at the bridge. I just have one more single crochet to go into. And then for the bridge, just work right there over the bridge. So I'm not going in, even into the chain. I'm just working single crochets right over. So our chain was two stitches, so we're doing two single crochets. Then just start doing single crochets into these stitches. And make sure that it's not twisted or anything before you do this because you don't want anything to be twisted. I'm here at the end and I'm just gonna make that final single crochet. And at this point, we're gonna grab this piece that we set aside. At the top here, these are the stitches that we just made. And then the bottom here is that foundation row that we made at first. And we already know the stitch length up here because it should be the same as that foundation row that we made. I know mine was 96, so I have 96 stitches here. And then you're also gonna go in and count how many single crochets you have across this entire like bralette piece. So I have 64 across here and 96 here. So just take your total stitch length across this flower part, which mine was 96, and subtract this stitch length, number of single crochets we have there, Mine's 64, so that's 32. And then you're gonna divide that by two. So that tells us how much extra we'll have on each side. And if you had an odd number so it didn't divide evenly, then you can just round and have one off. So if you, maybe you'd have like 16 over here, 17 over here, that's totally fine. It's not gonna make a big difference. Grab some stitch markers here, bobby pin, whatever you have, and just count that many stitches that we just found away from each side. So I did 16, so one, two, three, 16. That's my 16th stitch right there. So just mark that off and then do the same thing on this side. And we are counting that chain over here as a stitch. So one, two, there's my 16th. And now we're just gonna flip the whole thing over so we're working right to left instead of left to right. So I'm just gonna flip all of this and grab your little bralette piece. Make sure it's nothing's twisted and that it's nice and straight on the bottom. And you're gonna insert into the stitch right after that stitch marked stitch. And then we're gonna go until the stitch right before this stitch mark stitch. So we're not going into the actual stitches that have the stitch marker and then to take that loop of this bralette that last stitch we made and put that on your hook and tighten it down then just pull that through like that and now we are going to be working slip stitches into every stitch so we're going to be slip stitching these together so we've already connected those first stitches together and now we're going to go into the second stitches of each side but the way that i do it is i'm not going into the whole stitch there and the whole stitch there, I'm only gonna do the back loop of this flower part and then the front loop of this bralette part. And then grab my yarn and just pull it through all of the loops on my hook and then do the same thing. I'll show you again what I'm doing. Just going into this back loop here and then on the bralette piece, going from the front for only that front loop and then just yarn over, 
pull through all those loops and then just keep doing the same thing. Next stitch, I'm going only the back loop and only the front loop and just keep doing this. And this will help it lay a little bit more flat because it's not like you won't have as thick of a seam here. And we're just gonna do this all the way down. Um, even on these bridge stitches, every single single crochet will go with its corresponding uh, double crochet on this flower part. And I also wanna mention that you don't wanna be too tight with these because if you're too tight, it'll kind of bunch everything up and it won't sit flat and loosely like that. So when you're doing them, just kind of do it a little bit loosely like I'm doing here. I'm like loosening my stitches a little bit so it's not super tight and bunched together. I just made my last stitch and I ended up with one extra stitch there that I didn't go into, which is fine. I must have just miscounted somewhere, but it's one extra stitch. It's not gonna be a big deal. So now just chain one and we're gonna cut our yarn and tighten that down. Now all we need to do are the straps. So I'm gonna start with the like halter strap here. So to do that, you're gonna go into like the very point, the very top point of one of your triangles. So we have this increase here from when we were making the cups. And so I'm gonna go into that middle stitch of the increase. Attach your yarn with a slip knot, pull it through and then chain up. And you're gonna chain enough to go like meet halfway and then make another, we're gonna be making another one that we're gonna tie with that. So you're gonna have to kind of play around with it. I'm gonna be doing 80 stitches total. So I just did one. So I'm gonna do 80 chains. But again, you might have to mess around and see what works for you. But 80 is a good number for me. I've done 80 here. And then in the second chain from my hook, so not that one, but this one, I'm gonna insert my hook, get both loops on the hook and make a single crochet. And then we are just gonna single crochet all the way down. So the next stitch is gonna be here. We're just gonna make one single crochet per chain just to add some thickness and strength to our straps because if we just left it as chains, it's just, it's not very strong. It's pretty thin. So I like to go down the whole thing with a single crochet just to give it some strength. I have one more stitch to do. So just do that last single crochet and then we're gonna attach it down to this next stitch. So I'm just gonna insert into this stitch right to the left and then make a slip stitch and then chain one and cut the yarn. So now we have this halter strap and now I'm gonna show you how to do the like back straps that are gonna tie to connect the back part. So just attaching into that second chain of the chain two, like the very corner stitch of this rectangle. Just attached like we normally would. And now we're gonna be chaining again, but this time um, your chains can be a little different, but this will be pretty different depending on how wide you made this rectangle piece. So if yours wraps like all the way around, then you don't need your straps to be as long because it's obviously closer together in the back. And if you made yours less than mine, then you'll need more. But I'm gonna do about 60 chains and that is gonna be a pretty good number for me. Here at the end, after my 60th, I'm gonna make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then just single crochet all the way down. I have one more stitch, so just going into that chain with a single crochet. And now to attach it at the end, we're gonna like kind of go down the side of the rectangle, if that makes sense. So just go somewhere into that first row into a stitch like right there should be good. And you'll just make a slip stitch and detach your yarn. So now I've shown you how to do both your straps. So you'll just do exactly what you did for this halter strap on this other triangle. Make sure you get like the same stitch number and stuff so they're even. And then you'll do the exact same thing again with this back tie on your other side. And then you just weave in your ends with your darning needle and then we'll be done. So I'll just go ahead and do all of that off camera. Um, feel free to go back and watch 
these parts if you need to see that again for the other side. And then just weave in your ends and then I'll show you what the top looks like. I hope you guys like this video. Also, I don't know what's up with the neck. I don't know what's going on there. Just don't, don't look. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions or you're running into any issues, feel free to drop a comment and ask your question and I will help you figure out what's going on. And again, be sure to subscribe to my channel to help me out and so you can see my videos every time I post. And also comment any video requests you have down below, any ideas that you have for me, things you wanna see, tutorials, crochet with me, just video, anything. Anything, just comment it below and I'll add it to the list. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope this clears up also. I don't know what's happening, but it really itches. Wish me luck. Okay, but I'm gonna go and um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.